Okay. Let's go. Hogwatch! So yesterday, I decided to run my name on the DOD's website. Do a background check on myself. And I'm proud to say... Wait. Can you do that? Wait, can you... Can I, Sorry, wait. Uh, uh, fact check, chat. Uh, can you just run your name on the Department of Defense's website to do a background check on yourself? Because that sounds incorrect. <laughs> that sounds like it doesn't happen. <laughs> you can request a Freedom of Information Act. Okay, so you could do that, but, like, that's not running your name through the Department of Defense. Okay. Okay. Hey that I am on the FBI, CIA, Interpol, and the DOJ's watch list. Same thing, our forefathers were- Wait, wait, actually, chat, chat. You all just don't know about the secret website, okay? You just don't know about the secret website. You don't know, you don't know about the secret website, okay? Uh, I, I have, I have, uh, unlocked the codes, okay? I found it. I found it, chat. I found it, and uh, I'll show it to you if you promise not to show it to anyone, okay? But you have to promise not to show it anyone, to anyone, all right? This is where he ran his info, chat. Okay? He, he ran his name through the DOD, all right? Uh, super legit. Uh, look, I'm afraid to even type my name into that box, uh, because of the scrutiny it will bring down on my head, alright? That man has balls of steel, alright? Balls of steel! It's made to look like a, like an MS Paint doc, but that's just to throw you off the scent, okay? They're, they're clever dicks, okay? Clever weasels. <laughs> alright considered extremist oh whoa uh non-binary superpowers thank you for gifting six months of tier one sub to tina fey and non-binary superpowers thank you for gifting a sub to heterosexuality as well i appreciate that mint thank you for gifting a sub to goat van it opg and uh non-binary superpowers thank you for gifting a sub to see you in court bud thank you very much i i very much appreciate all of that thank you they actually killed their children, the Brits did, because they signed the Declaration of Independence. They sacrificed so much for our freedoms today that are getting stripped away. Wait, is he advocating for killing your own children? Wait. What? <laughs> Maybe that's why he's on the lists. Okay, by the Alphabet Mafia, by the Pronoun Mafia, by my fe- Oh shit! Oh shit! Wait, chat, does that mean- Chat! <laughs> Chat, does that mean, does that mean I'm part of two mafias? Cause I, I'm, I'm part of, I'm part of the pronoun mafia and the alphabet mafia. That's two whole mafias. That must be the most convoluted hierarchical, uh, crime structure I've ever heard of. Yeah, that's right. That's right. You saw the Godfather? Well, guess what? I'm here to cancel you and... The director of The Godfather for, for being pro-pedophilia. And I'm gonna cancel him with double the mafias. Hey, I'm pronouning over here! <laughs> uh, uh, I'm in a mafia. Uh, uh. <laughs> uh that's a nice, uh pronoun you got over there. Be a shame if, uh, someone neoed it. <laughs> TikTok is all he has left after the divorce? Yo, yo, that's probably true. Uh, now I feel bad for him. He has a- he has sad eyes, chat. He has sad eyes. Mafia and by a tyrannical government that are over- Wait, there was another mafia. Wait, we need to know all of the mafias. By a tyrannical government that are overstepping their bounds for many, many years now. 
Okay? So, I'm doing the right thing by speaking out against Wait, I alphabet mafia, by the pronoun mafia, by my feelings mafia, and by a tyrannical government that are over- Wait, so I'm also part of a- I, I guess I'm also part of a, the feelings mafia. I'm part of three mafias! We're stepping their bounds for many, many years now. Okay? So, I'm doing the right thing by speaking out against them. That's how you know, because I'm on their watch list. They don't want us to be a republic. They want to keep us a controlled democracy. Fuck them. Thank you for sharing that very uh, compelling message. Streets08110. Guys, is it gay to have emotions for your, uh, your hot girlfriend? If so, I'm extremely gay. Let's go! Ooh, ooh, we have a we have a lady TikToker. A lady TikToker. Good morning, TikTok. Nothing funny about this post. HR 4350 is a bill in the house that they have already passed. It lets the Democrats put Biden as a dictator over military and everything, which means Biden will go into martial law. When we go into martial law, they're only coming after. Just just in case you're wondering what the fuck she's talking about. HR uh, 4350 is the National Defense Authorization Act for fiscal year 2022. This is literally just our defense budget being renewed. So... I, I guess having having armed forces is now dictatorial. Uh, welcome to the resistance. Ma Mama 3363. Welcome to the resistance, the anti-military resistance. Conservatives and people trying to save America. This is no longer a joke. There's nothing funny about this. We have got to wake up and fight. Fight like you've never fought before. I will- She- she- she looks like she's about ready to like, stab- stab someone. She- she's about to go commit a violence. I'm- I'm- I'm genuinely worried for people around her. Go out in a blaze of glory before I turn against my heavenly father, or before I turn against this country. Know that. Okay, yeah, no, nah, no, nah, she's about to strap a suicide vest on and, like, try and blow up the Pentagon, okay? Like, ho holy shit. I turn against- Fight. Fight like you've never fought before. I will go out in a blaze of glory before I turn against my heavenly father. Yo, uh, once you have conservative TikTokers going like, I will go out in a blaze of glory, like, they're literally imagining, like, uh, stealing, like, a 16-wheeler and, like, a full of gasoline and just, like, driving it into a building at that point. Oh, we got, we got more chat. Because this is Hogwatch. Yeehaw! All right. The government to every SBR owner? Is, what, it, what is an SBR chat? Because I read that as, like, Subaru. Well, his username on TikTok is 1776 by 2.4. Yeah, I gotta get that school shooter drip on. Good, yeah, I'm feeling alright. Baby, I'm gonna have the best fucking night. <laughs> what? You don't know that's what we've been waiting to hear? Say when. Act accordingly. What? Good, yeah, I'm feeling alright. Baby, I'm gonna have the best fucking night. <laughs> what? You don't know that's what we've been waiting to hear? Say when. Yo, this dude, this dude's psycho as hell. This, this dude, like, butchered puppies just to feel something. Act accordingly.
If you've been waiting to do murders, there's something wrong with you. It, if, if you have been waiting your entire life for the race war to pop off or the civil war to pop off, there's something really wrong with you. Yeah, and a lot of this is, uh, is started by uh, the rhetoric you see in conservative media. Oh, we have a, we have a rare one. The rare nerd conservative. Dear Combat Area Commandment Generals. What? There's 12 of you guys. You are witnessing open treason against your country. Um, uh, you see, uh, there is open treason going on, and you need to turn against uh, the President of the United States. We the people ask you to do something about it. Now, I know a couple things that most Americans don't know. There's only two people that give you orders. Secretary of Defense, the President of the United States, who was known to have committed treason when we all found about, out about it during the Trump-Ukrainian phone call. The public has known about Biden's treason since 2019. How long have you guys known about what? it? Now. I, I genuinely don't know what he's talking about. You combat area commanders. 11 of you are Trump appointees. What? I don't, I don't think Trump directly appoints anyone in the military, except for the Secretary of Defense. Charles Flynn, you were appointed by Biden. But I know you're still a loyalist. We have 12 generals that are loyal to Trump. The Secretary of State and the President of the United States are the two only people that could tell them what to do. Okay, now he's saying the Secretary of State instead of the Secretary of Defense. I, I, I retract what I said earlier about uh, a, a conservative nerd. Uh, this guy... This guy has some mental issues. They run the whole military. What I am getting at, combat area commanders. The, the, the lack of friction in this man's brain is uh, unprecedented, really. There's only two people that stand in the way of bringing freedom to your country. Please bring justice. Oh my god. Uh, imagine, uh, again, conservatives are trying to tell you that, like, they're not calling for violence, that they're the reasonable ones. He's literally trying to get generals to commit a violent coup against the United States. Goodness. Okay. I did not like that one. That one made me uncomfortable and sad. I think... Oh, is it... I, I genuinely can't tell. Chat, is this one of the same guys we've seen already? Or does he just look an awful lot like the other thumbs? Hey, Patriot standing by. Thank God I seen your video this morning, because I would have totally forgotten. <laughs> See here in Kentucky, a strange thing is happening too. Look at that phenomenon up there. It's where the sun, it kind of hazes behind the clouds. That's exactly what happens when it's time to take over the fucking government. Hey, Patriot standing. What? 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good luck, bud. You know, it, he he uh he clearly uh he clearly studied uh at at West Point because he knows the value of the element of surprise, baby. <laughs> what the fuck did he just say?
All right. <laughs> oh, this this is gonna be good. I can tell this is gonna be good, chat. Look at the size of that cigar. Sometimes a cigar is just a cigar, but uh, sometimes it's not. You know. This is all to the vets and patriots out there. There's no music on this. <laughs> Just letting you know, storm's coming. We need to be prepared. This will probably get taken down. But duet this, repost this. If you're not ready yet, it's time to get ready. The left is running rampant, and they're gonna try to take rights away. And that's where the Patriots and the Vets need to- No, the, the storm is coming is all QAnon shit. It's all QAnon shit. QAnon never went anywhere. They're, they're still out there being insane. Stand up and defend the Constitution against all enemies, foreign or domestic. Damn. Willie Nelson really went downhill <laughs> after he stopped smoking weed. <laughs> oh, fuck. Alright. <laughs> uh... Wait, was that? Okay. Yeah, we're on this one. Alright. This guy... This guy looks like a serial killer, okay? Not in the slightest. It's pointless to hide if you're trying to send a message. They're more afraid of us than we are of them. They signed H.R. 1808 and barricaded themselves in. H HR eighteen oh eight. I don't I don't know what that means. Oh, it's the assault weapons ban of uh, twenty twenty two. What did, what did that do? Yeah, it it passed the house, my dude. It's not even law. It's not gonna pass the Senate, my dude. Yeah, that they passed it. They've barricaded themselves in. There's no going back now. Literally nothing has happened. Like, goodness. The, these are the ultimate snowflakes, chat. The, these people cannot handle the single slightest thing going wrong. Hey, Metal Kitty Mom. Also, what's with this recurring, like, scraggly chin beard look? It's... Not a good look, conservatives. These people are so dumb. This is fantastic content. I am, I am living for this. So we got the weaponization of the FBI and law enforcement on true red-blooded patriotic Americans. Just wait until the IRS is weaponized against every single one of us. And then, Bro, what are they going to come take? You don't even have clothes. And they seize guns or try to seize the guns through tax audits. 87,000 new... F Why would they take your guns during a tax audit? That's not how tax audits work. Unless you're, unless you're hiding your money in guns, I guess. Like... Unless the South has set up an entire bartering system where you just pay for things with guns. They even took the shirt off his back. Yeah. Fully armed and trained IRS agents are about to start knocking on doors, folks. That makes the... These, these people are literally pissing themselves over the idea of IRS agents. I'm just uh, going to look up one thing real quick. Real quick. To prove, to prove a point. Okay? When you look up IRS employee chat, these are the images you get. 
yeah, the, these people, these yeah, these people are really gonna come down hard. They're gonna they're gonna come and confiscate your guns. Oh my oh my god, look at how scary they are. Oh god. Look, th this this man is smiling. Oh, oh look. They're the <laughs> I I just can't. Like what you think you think Phyllis from accounting is going to come and take your gun away? What what's wrong with you? They got better things to do with their time. <laughs> Wait, you, you think this guy's going to show up and take your gun? Come on. Where where are all the scary ones, chat? Where are all the scary IRS workers? Cuz I I'm scrolling through and I'm not seeing any. I thought she was a salesman. <laughs> yeah, all right. Okay. Yeah, you keep being you keep pooping your pants over uh, IRS agents coming for your guns. IRS the biggest federal um, institution in America, bigger than the Pentagon, CIA. Um. Yeah, IRS SWAT teams are are uh, are so secretive. Some say they don't even exist. Um, I think all of them, honestly, and they're armed to the fucking teeth. So, I guess just keep sitting back and letting them shove it right up our asses. I mean, I like. These people literally can't conceive of a better funded IRS instead of uh, bothering with mid-level people, just bothering with, like, high-level folks. This guy looks like if Linus Tech Tips lived in a cave for a year. I see it. I can't unsee it. I can't unsee it. Oh, God. Let's go. This is very good stuff. Shut up and listen. Our Constitutional Republic is dead. August 8, 2022 will go down in history as a day of infamy. The unprecedented raid on a former president's home confirms a post-Republican era for America. It's now a leftist dictatorship with the acquiescence of establishment politicians of both parties. The usual toothless threats of investigation from Kevin McCarthy and other rhinos are a waste of time. The FBI raid on President Trump's Mar-a-Lago home should be cause for the Republicans in Washington to throw out the archaic rule books and establish a shadow Congress. Oh my God! What? <laughs> yeah, it's time for us to have a secret government. We need a shadow Congress. A, a nega Congress, if you will. We're done with investigations, decorum, and fake bipartisanship. The no more investigations. From now on, we will only have executions, okay? Time to break out those guillotines. That's, that's what we, the Republican Party, want. The Republican Governors Association and the states with Republican majorities in their legislatures must form a consortium to declare the federal government under the Biden disadministration Respublica Non Grata. That's an unacceptable and rejected government to those of you in Pahokee. State guards and law enforcement should be activated to oppose any federal warrant being enforced by the FBI. These FBI individuals have placed their paychecks, pensions, and careers ahead of their country and their oath. Oaths are now just one more item to check off to get a federal job. They're meaningless to people who've lost their values and morals. I would have refused to carry out the raid and resigned on the spot. I've done it before when I couldn't continue working for people I didn't respect or were incapable of good management. The hypocritical rhino establishment insiders who no longer represent the people but only their own opinions, power, wealth, and special interest co-conspirators are as responsible as the morally bankrupt Democrats for enabling the lawless Biden hunter. <laughs> <laughs> the Republican the senators who <laughs> the Biden junta, okay, bro, voted to confirm the fascist in sheep's clothing Merrick Garland are Murkowski, Grassley, Ernst, 
Moran, McConnell, Cassidy, Collins, Blunt, Tillis, Kramer, Portland, Inhofe, Lankford, Graham, Rounds, Thune, Cornyn, Romney, Moore Capito, and Ron Johnson. They are just as guilty as accessories before the fact. Yo, these, these people, these people are literally like, Mitch fucking McConnell isn't far right enough for us anymore. It, what, what Kool-Aid are these people drinking? These people are drinking fascist Kool-Aid, chat. They, they literally, they literally think Mitch McConnell, someone who is so conservative that he successfully stole, like, a Supreme Court seat, and has stymied the actions of Democrats for, like, decades isn't far right enough because they are fascists. I'm telling you all right now, if they come after Trump and they hit him with some phony bullshit and he's not able to run in 2024, it's on. Yeah, what does that mean? It, big, big, big PP, big PP, much tough. What does that mean? What are you actually gonna do? It, it's on. Okay. What the fuck you gonna do? You you gonna drive to work like you do every day? Okay. You're not gonna do shit. Um. No, I don't think it's religion. It it's the fascism. There are plenty of religious people in this world who are not fascists. But I do agree that there is an element of, like, religious thinking that I think maybe predisposes one towards uh, being indoctrinated into a fascist death cult, you know? Um, because fascism has been described as, like, the closest government can get to becoming a religion. And I think I think that's a good description in a in a in a in a very short way. Attempted communist takeover. They don't just uh, oh God, walk audio. away. There's gonna. Be How do you even do that on a TikTok? How do you even get this audio fucked up on a TikTok? Be a fight. It's not gonna be fun. It's not gonna be pretty. But that's what happens whenever a communist take over, try to take over a country. And it's going to be a try. Because you have to fight back. You can't just allow it to happen. Where's your line in the sand? When you say enough. I want this man to try and describe what communism is. If it's enough. Before it's too late. They got you in a corner, unarmed. On a cart to the FEMA camp. To be injected with a death shot, dude. Come on. There's, they still think FEMA camps are happening? Where the fuck does this guy live? Holy shit. You guys gotta open your eyes. They're raiding people's houses, like the previous president's house. And even, for what? Ma many, many people are being raided. Like the, the one guy I know who was raided, the, the president. I guess they'll say eventually, like when they manufacture something, maybe, I don't know. Meanwhile, Joe's got all kinds of shit on him. Average Republican voter. Salt of the earth voter right here. I might die throughout my life. Y'all know what? I'm almost 62 years old. Holy shit, you're 62 years old? Guys, for reference, uh, guys, this guy is 62, okay? You know who else is 62 years old? Antonio Banderas, all right? I just want, like... My grandma is 97 and looks younger than this man. This man looks like he has weathered the fucking passage of time. <laughs> it's the same picture. <laughs> and I admit that I've thought about different ways I might die throughout my life, you know, 
different scenarios, different diseases, different things. But there's one thing that I can assure you never crossed my mind. And that is that I might die engaged in some sort of battle with my fellow man. Never even gave it any, never gave it any thought. Maybe you should, uh, maybe you should, th this should be like a reevaluating moment for you. Like, oh wow, I, I never gave this a thought. And now I'll, all of a sudden I'm, I'm thinking about it. And maybe that should be like a warning sign that you're not doing something great. Till now. Okay. Holy moly, how many, how many do we got here? We got so many hogs. Oh my god, our hog cups runneth over, chat. Amazing. Amazing. All right. Chicago is state. Donald Trump. Let's talk about it. 50 members of the FBI kicked in his door and broke into a safe taking documents. This stems from a long legal battle about these documents that Trump took when he left the White House with him down to the Mar-a-Lago estate. Christopher Ray, FBI director. Why is he playing Oasis? I don't understand. On your side, he's been a sleeper this whole time. Remember, Donald Trump installed him, replaced James Comey, and yes, he's done some things to keep the deep state at bay, saying, oh, well, you know, he's on our side. No, he's not. How do you submit evidence? You let them take it. I, I, I couldn't. I know he was saying dumb shit. He was we saying weird conspiratorial deep state uh, shit, but I couldn't I couldn't hear it past the past Oasis. It was so inexplicable. I, f I feel like I just had a stroke. Can I can, can I smell burnt toast? Oh, God. <sighs> <laughs> Tea with goblins, thank you for the 100 biddies. The camis are taking over. The camis are taking over. Patriots ride up. <laughs> anyway, here's my wonder wall. <laughs> Jams, Coney? Yeah, I guess so. True Logarth, so many angry thumbs. The angriest of thumbs. Um, <laughs> um, God. Oh, was someone asking me about uh, my gender identity? Uh, I use she, her pronouns. I'm a, I'm a trans woman. Hello. Forlorn, thank you for gifting a sub to tea with goblins. With the goblins, my bad. I, I, I missed the the. Mr. Gorbachev, play down that wonder wall. <laughs> All right, let's go. Oh, we got another lady. All right. IRS, we the people accept your civil war. Oh, baby. Baby, 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 baby. <laughs> Yo, you've already lost. We the people! IRS, we the people accept your civil war. We've been waiting for this for a long time. If you bring guns to our homes, guess what? We have guns too. Y yeah, that, that's probably why they would be bringing guns, right? You, Republicans want all people to walk around being armed. Why? Why would it be a problem if another person brought, brought guns to your home? I, I honestly don't understand. I don't understand the conservative mindset on this one, right? Like, yeah, if, if an armed agent walks up to your house, yeah, you, you want the, all of them. You want all people to be armed, right? Like, I, I don't know. Does this lady do the same when like a, like a cop walks up and like knocks on her door? She like 
pops out a side window with an AK, mows him down, and then says, Maybe you're gonna be the one to save me. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, that was it. All right. Oh god. The thumb is strong with this one. All right, kid. Fuck all you yeah. fake ass motherfucking politicians and all you fucking bullshit. Oh, you know what? As far as I'm concerned, four choices it's a wild, wild wild west, motherfuckers. Let's get it on. All right, kid. Fuck all you yeah. fake yeah. ass motherfucking politicians and all you fucking bullshit. You know what? As far as I'm concerned, it's a wild, wild west, motherfuckers. Okay. I don't think you'd do well in the wild, wild west, but that, that's just me. <laughs> that, that's just me. I've been thinking about this whole uh, 80,000 plus IRS <laughs> agents Church. being hired oh, no. on. Uh, I hear a lot of the opinions when it comes to why they're doing it, and um, all of the opinions are pretty much valid. So, here's a shout to all of you that might be considering taking this position and going ahead and uh, signing on with the IRS. If you choose to put on that body armor and you choose to click that freaking duty belt on your waist in pursuit of small businesses and typical Americans, you are no longer a federal agent, you are a target to every single one of us that are in the ditches, in the haulers, in the tall grass. You have to understand that you now have to choose your master. Liberty or tyranny? Choose wisely. <laughs> I couldn't help myself, chat. I couldn't, I couldn't help myself. I couldn't, I couldn't stop it. I, I had to. I had, I had to do it to him, chat. I had to do it to him. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I spent my free time in the tall grass. I, I, I spent my, my free time in the tall grass, too. It was a pretty good horror movie on Netflix. What the fuck is up with these with with these eyes, chat? What the fuck is th this guy's a vampire, right? Just like immediate vibe check. This guy's a vampire, right? <laughs> yeah. Get get your crucifixes out, chat. No, nah, no. Nah, meth does not make your eyes turn fucking gold yellow in the dark, okay? If it's war. Oh, it's it does does TikTok have like filters? Okay, never mind. I, I retract that you think you really want. And ye shall get. Okay, I do have to say one thing, and it might be a little mean. But he does look like he had his face mauled by a chimpanzee and had extensive reconstructive surgery, okay? Uh, so, uh, you know, I, I might, that might be really mean of me, okay? But I'm, I'm just telling it like it is, okay? There ain't no doubt about that in my mind. No doubt about that in my mind. Hell yeah, brother. But let me ask you a question. What about you? He's really struggling to form words. <laughs> Makes you think that this war is not going to reach you. Because I guarantee you it is. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> uh, that dude is so wasted.
<laughs> oh man, I I think all of these are in reaction to the IRS and and the the Trump raid, but not the nuclear stuff. Which, oh oh shit, we got we got we got a sequel chat. We got a sequel. Let's see if we can talk faster now. I'm not finna stop there. And this is for every patriot, God-loving, flag-loving, Lady Liberty-loving. If you haven't fucked a flag, I don't even want to see your dick. Country man-loving person <laughs> in this country. If it is to go down as such, Con then the very man. first... Wait, wait, did he say country man loving? Egg loving, lady liberty loving, country man loving... <laughs> oh, this man has loved himself a country man or two. He's loved himself a country man or two. He's loved and lost a country man or two. He loves them countrymen. Person in this country. If it is <laughs> to go down as such, then the very first fucking place it's true, I, I, I disavow him from the gay community. Every last one of us should go, should be to those homes that have made it happen. You're motherfucking right. You're absolutely fucking right. <laughs> if this is... This is his breakup letter to uh, one of his countrymans. Is what you want. Then when you set it off, <laughs> I say we bring it to your fucking doorstep. And above. You know that when this ended, he's like, should I do this again? That notification might have thrown it off a bit. And he's like, nah, it's good enough. Because what you fucking people have done to this country and its people deserve nothing less. I, I, I want him, I want him to play the next villain in a Quentin Tarantino f film, okay? I want him, I, I don't know how, get this man to Hollywood so he can use his uh, cartoonishly evil looks and line delivery. Uh, for entertainment in a more purposeful way. Absolutely. fucking -lutely. Jesus Christ. What do you mean by play? Uh, yeah, he gestures to, like, a set of cuffs in the corner of the room. I wonder if everybody went to a social media platform and said to the government, remove the corrupt politicians or we'll follow the law and do what we're allowed to do. I wonder how quickly they would be removed if everybody rock hard meant what the fuck they said. I wonder if everybody... What? what? You, you, know, you know if you got on social media and just said, hello, Senator, please remove yourself from your position because I disagree with you. And then they didn't. And then you went to use your rights to remove them? You would just get arrested and put into the private prison system. That like you you would just you would just be spending your days in prison. I mean you can do that if you want, I guess, but uh I I don't know, guys. <laughs> Yeah, I'm I'm rock hard right now. I rock hard mean what I say. What's up, Patriots? Got some guys down there in Florida uh, telling me that there's uh, more alphabets down there uh, waving flags than they are Patriots. Oh my God. There are more gays on the beach than there are Patriots. This is dark days in, Amer in America, friends. 
Dark days indeed. We got we got too many alphabets down there. <laughs> so uh, heads up, you know, uh, keep your eyes peeled and your lips sealed. What's up, Patriot? Wait, wait, what is that? Wait, what does that mean? Is, or is the alpha? Oh, sorry, sorry. That's right. The alphabet mafia is coming for them. Okay. Yeah, you got you got to be careful. The alphabet mafia will will get you. We'll, we'll get you. Okay. Here we go. Uh, Jerry, you, you fucking liberal Democrats are fi Why can't they turn off the television sets that they're watching when they make these TikToks? I don't understand. Why Why do they keep the background noise going? To start something, I don't think you want to, you ain't uh, goddamn fucking uh, smart enough to realize and know your history well enough to know. <laughs> oh no, Gimli's, Gimli's lived long enough to see himself become the villain. Uh, oh no. What's fixing to happen? They need, they raided Mar-a-Lago with Trump. They're doing everything they can to bring that man down because they know he's going to run in 2024 and he's going to expose more than crooked son of a bitch. But y'all keep it up. Just keep it up. You're fixing to start fucking something that down the road you're gonna be you're gonna be like fucking Custer uh, when he fucking uh, ran up on them fucking Sioux Indians and shit up in there and he thought about the time he got his ass shot off he was like oh fuck I made a big mistake. You Democratic Party are fixing to be the fucking Custers of the modern generation. And actually drink a beer with this guy? I don't know about that one. Uh, here we go. Media. From police officers, judges, people in politics, and investigative citizens. The truth. It's here. We know what is going on. So why aren't we mobilizing and taking up arms against our government? Well, let's talk about that. Why aren't we doing that? My personal belief is there's a huge fear factor. There's a comfort factor in this country. Oh God, oh God, don't tempt me. Don't tempt me, Siren Song. Don't tempt me. Don't tempt me with a manga mingle dating app. I, you know, you know if I opened up a, a like a troll account on there. The content, the content would be incredible. And there's a denial factor in this country. Some of us don't believe anything's wrong. Some of us believe we'll die the second we try to open our mouths. And some of us just don't care. It's unfortunate. What we need on our side is our sheriffs. The law stops with you. You hold the real power in this country. And if we could just get our sheriffs to uphold their oath of office, we'd have something here. Because we know when shit hits the fan, we're going to be fighting the, the United Nations military, our own government's military, and the citizens of this country who believe it's working. We're doing good. What we need on our side is our sheriffs. So sheriffs, deputize your citizens. Mobilize your citizens. And together, the people in this country can show the government where the true power lies. Chat. It's, it's real. Oh, that, that's nice. MAGA Mingle allows you to find lesbians or gays. Text and video chats. I do not, I, I actually do not trust this, uh, this nearby users thing. No, no thank you. Mingle with the gay MAGA. Yeah, where, where are all the gays for Trump? For all you fools up here in D.C. coming after our Second Amendment rights, 
our first amendment and thinking that you guys run something oh god oh god santa claus why let me tell you something oh let me remind you we the people <laughs> true me liberal. everyone out here that paid your freaking salary we're not going to put up with your bullshit. I'm going to tell you something. Send them knocking. We'll send them back in a body bag. And. That's what I got to say. What? How? How? Wait. If you're sending someone back in a body bag, how is flicking them off worse? Everybody's with me. If you're with me on this, do at this. Let's send DC a message. Peace, love, and chicken grease, y'all. Peace, love, chicken grease. Ignore the part where I just called for the murder of people who disagree with me. Ignore that part. In this lane, uh, uh, one vehicle ahead. Yeah. Pop out. This lane. All right, get the plates, guys. Just run, pop out, and get his plates. Right in here. Hey, right up here. He's gonna turn again. Pop out and get his place. Remember, he's got a dirty. Oh. oh, Nazis. Oh shit. Okay. I I just have to say, uh, these these whites are uh I, I don't know I don't know if they're they're pure enough. I don't think they're pure Aryan enough for uh, actual Nazis. Um I hope, you know, th this guy in the middle here better hope that they never succeed fully because uh, he's, he's a bit uh, sussy uh, when it comes to his uh, level of uh, pallid uh, coloring. Okay. Right here, get the plates. Come right there. Oh, look, he's moving! He's moving! HFC C90. We got him. Get his hands off him. Get his hands Shut the car. Oh, really? Really? Look at this guy. Really? Go follow him. Oh, he's you such a hot bastard. Oh, oh, oh my god, god, you guys are singing a fucking song. You fucking oh, scumbag, fuck! Scumbag cop! You fucking pig! You fucking puppet! Dude! You chased him off! Yeah! 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 Yeah, recording themselves doing crime. Uh, so uh, I don't know if uh, if any, uh, I don't know where this has taken place, but Tanker Yanker Y'all, Tanker underscore Yanker underscore Y'all. Um, I think you could probably uh, turn this into local authorities. Yeah, uh, if any of you uh, are up for that. Or mass report it for, you know, being Nazis and shit. So let's talk about this uh, whole FBI saying uh, Americans that live here in this fucking country are domestic terrorists, extremists. Let me advise the federal government on something. I hope the FBI, DEA, CIA, NSA, and whoever else fuck is watching this. I live here in Texas, Canada. You know, and uh, I've already dealt with the FBI, twice to be exact. And I think I was pretty fucking polite to them. Comes the fact that you're sitting here defending these motherfucking child, pedophile, raping, murdering motherfuckers. And then gonna sit here and come, come down on come me again? because I have a constitutional right to stand up against these tyrannical motherfuckers. And you wanna come say, this is an extreme. Well, you ain't seen extremes yet. I've served my country. I, I feel like if uh, a government official uh, approaches you and accuses you of being a member of an extreme ideology and your response is, you haven't seen extreme yet, then uh, you might be, uh, you, you, you know, they might have some, they might have a good point. <laughs> they might, they might be correct. True straight out of high school. Yeah, Calvin Candy uh, really, really went downhill after uh, after his appearance in uh, Django Unchained. Things that I've seen and done to protect women and children and people never fucking left me, America. 
understand something and understand this right the fuck now. You label me as an extremist because I'm protecting myself against the government who wants me fucking gone and dead. Brother, have seen my babies be molested and fucking tortured and raped? And you want to say I'm a motherfucking extremist? You ain't seen extreme yet when it comes down to my- Yeah, because you're- you believe insane shit that's not happening. My fucking kids, or my family, or the country I fucking love. Sir, who exactly is trying to molest your children? Black, white, green, yellow, fucking purple, whatever the fuck y'all want to identify as today. You are fucked up human beings. You live here in this country, you have destroyed your own fucking home. But don't worry, because it's just about to pop the fuck off. And if you think that we're going to continue to deal with it any longer, you have life so fucked up. I, for one, do not stand. Well, I, for one, do not tend to stand around and watch any more of this bullshit go on in the United States. Kamala Harris is a d disgrace to this fucking country. And uh, Joe Biden, well, he's just an old man being run by Obama. And y'all think we're too dumb to govern our own affairs? Motherfucker. Whew. It's true. Uh, Obama is weakened at Bernie Bernieing ease. Ber Bernie's ing weekend at Bernie's ing. Joe Biden. There we go. Time is ticking. Times are ticking, y'all. I need soldiers. Give me five thousand motherfucking willing souls. We go to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're you're really inspiring me with a lot of confidence, there, Chief. Uh, oh, oh shit, oh shit. Part two, we get a part two. Go on the United States. Kamala Harris is a d disgrace to this fucking country. And uh, Joe Biden, well, he's just an old man being run by Obama. And y'all think we're too dumb to govern our own affairs? Motherfucker. Oh, Brett, Time is ticking. Not subbed. Times are ticking, y'all. I need soldiers. Give me 5,000 motherfucking willing souls and we go to war. Everybody's talking about they need a leader and all that. I'll lead this motherfucking band to battle. You hear me? I will lead this motherfucker to battle. I'm yeah, I, 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 I would not follow you. I would not follow your directions to like the nearest Arby's, sir. That ain't a joke. I'm what did Coppola do? Uh, the director of Jeepers Creepers molested like a 12 year old boy and then uh, Coppola stepped in and uh, paid for the molester's uh, legal defense fund and then also paid for the lawyers to sue the victim of the molestation. Um, so yeah, uh, the director of The Godfather and The Godfather Part 2 is a massive piece of shit. It's fucked up. It is. Um, I'm not afraid. I do this shit by myself. I knew I wasn't outnumbered. So, you're either with me or against me, you extremist. You ain't seen extreme yet. You thought BLM and Antifa burnt some shit up. Well, you just pulled the pin on the grenade, motherfuckers. We ain't gone. I ain't gonna let it happen no more. You was warned. You was fucking warned. Yo, you, you literally radicalized yourself over the course of two, a two minute long TikTok. Give me 5,000 souls. Yeah, I need, I need to unlock the next level in uh, Diablo. Uh, <laughs> what happened, bro? Bro. Bro. Who really has the balls to pick a side and stand your ground? Hey guys. It's right around the corner. I'm telling you. The tyranny. The treason. That this government is perpetrating on the American people is beyond anything I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, no kidding, now, Garden Variety Cat Lady. In 17 like, I do not have the patience to be that mad that long. You know, in 76, it didn't take much to kick it off and start it off. These people fired the first shot. They attacked our president. Listen, they're attacking our people daily. They fired the first shot. 
they have started a civil war. What are you going to do? Pick a fucking side. Pick a fucking side. Stand on the line. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't think any of these guys... Oh, you know what? That, that one lady with the crazy eyes might actually try and kill someone. Uh, where do you find these? I need some of these to show my fam. Uh, I was sent a nice, uh, lengthy... Uh, so this I was sent a lengthy uh, Twitter thread that compiled it all for me. In a very handy way. Um, and I've been very much enjoying going through it. But if you would like some some shitty TikToks to share with your friends and family, here you go. One link, endless content. Doodle burb, you're a good bean. Oh, we went too far. We went too far. Okay. You know, my father taught me as a young man to never start the fight. Just make damn sure you finish it. Stand up for what you believe in. Back up what you said. If someone challenges you, you accept that challenge. Win or lose. Because win or lose, that's respectable. It's commendable. I'm a 41-year-old man. Been working since I was 11. Never been convicted of any crimes. Haven't had a traffic violation in over 15 years. But my government has labeled me a domestic terrorist because I believe in the Second Amendment, in the Constitution, in the Founding Fathers. And I am a nationalist. I do put the needs of this country above the needs of the world. I didn't start this fight, but I can promise you I'll finish it. And whether I'm lying there dead or they are, makes no difference to me. I've made my peace with God, and I'll pray that they have done the same. Jesus. All right, with, with the FBI raiding Trump's place. Why? Why is this- why are we getting, like, the dick's POV of a dick pic? Why- why are we getting, like, the POV from the dick of the person trying to take a dick pic? Why- why are we getting that on these? That shows each and every one of us that we're next. So it's time to hit the streets. There's 350-something million of us. We are the largest standing army in the world. They can't stop us. No matter how many tanks or guns that they have, we got three times as much. First Trump, then Cletus. They can't stop us. Don't let them stop you. Don't let them come to your house. When, you make, when they come to your house, make a phone call. You got hundreds of friends. Tell them to bring their guns. Chase these motherfuckers off your property. We run this motherfucker. Government don't. We the people we of the America people. run this motherfucker. We hired them. Time to take them out of their jobs and start over. Let's get this second civil war going. It's time. They don't read it to presidents. Yo, just just openly calling for a second civil war. Yo, you read you ready to kill your own children, dude? House, the best president ever in America. Ever made every. Um, but uh, have you considered that uh, um, starting a civil war would be illegal? Hmm? Have you ever considered that? Hmm? person owned in the market white by black Jesus. mexican indian of all nations well money in this country legally because they went to work because they were jobs it's time to stand up what are we gonna let this shit get worse it's time to stand up now right now Fuck going into work tomorrow. Let's get this shit cracking. Fuck paying bills. Fuck that. No, we're not slaves no more. Wake up. I don't think you were ever a slave. I don't think your ancestors were slaves, my dude. 
I'm just gonna go out on a limb, okay?